Hey guys! So I know it's been a while since I made a video. I'm really, really sorry. Um, but I have good reasons for some of the weekends that I missed. Um, the first weekend I missed was because I was at a convention. I was at Convergence, which is a fan-run, Minnesota-based science fiction and fantasy convention. It's four days long. Super, super fun. Lots of great panels and cool things going on. And then there's party rooms and everything like that. And so I was there and just didn't have time to make a video, um, unfortunately. But that's okay. I had a lot of fun. And yeah. Second weekend I didn't make a video was because I got my wisdom teeth removed. I used to have three wisdom teeth. I now have zero. Um, I was high on painkillers and puffy cheeked and just not in any kind of condition to make a video. Plus I was at my parents house the whole weekend so there was that too. I didn't really do much that weekend at all except watch movies I hadn't seen yet. Some of which I probably should not have watched while on Vicodin but whatever. <laughs> and then the third weekend I missed was just because of laziness. I'm sorry. I just didn't do it. I don't have a good reason for missing last week. Um, but I'm doing it this week. Yay! As far as writing goes, I have been futzing a little bit with the end over these last couple weeks, but just because of everything that's been going on, I just haven't really worked on it that much. That said, I have been working on a little side project. I don't know how many of you guys have watched the movie Krull. It's a really charming fantasy film from the 80s. It's from 1983. You know, for a really, really long time, I just viewed it as a cheesy fantasy film from the 80s. And, you know, I like watching cheesy movies as much as the next person, so I watch it every once in a while. But then, about a week and a half ago, I was listening to a podcast. It's called Junk Food Cinema, and the guys who run it actually go to Convergence, which is why I was listening to it. And um, they did an episode about Krull, and I was listening to it, and they were just going on and on and on about all these touching character moments and all these amazing original concepts that they had in there. And I was like, I never thought of it that way before. So that evening I put Krull on and watched it with a new perspective, and I was just like, this actually is a pretty darn good movie. I mean, it may not have been executed the best way possible, but it's actually pretty good. In fact, I know I'm always harping about how there's all these remakes and sequels and stuff. I think Krull would actually be one of the few that I would say deserves a remake. So after I realized that I thought Krull could deserve a remake, I decided I would write a script for a remake. Um, so I'm fixing various problems that the original has, such as the female lead, Princess Lissa, has very little character to her and is pretty much just useless throughout the entire movie. So that's changing. Um, and then there's various other plot problems and things like that. I'm gender bending a few characters because there's not enough women in the story in my opinion. <laughs> Writing this remake I've been really digging my fingers into the original movie and finding all these little gold gems in there that I never noticed before so it's really really been interesting doing this. What was really cool is I found an early draft of the script from 1980, back when it was still called Dragons of Coral, which is funny because there were no dragons in that script, but okay. <laughs> um, and it was really cool reading through that script because there was a lot of really great character stuff in there that didn't actually make it into the movie. So I've been pulling little bits and pieces from the original script too that I like and kind of blending them together with my own stuff. and. I, I really kind of like the direction. I've already written 20 pages um, in a week and a half. It's just like a really quick project I decided to do because um, it's just something I think makes good practice for writing is, you know, you got to work with other people's IPs too sometimes. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. Also, I don't know how long some of you have been subscribed to my channel, but about two years ago I was working on a series called Becoming a Superhero, or How to Become a Superhero, and part of the point of it was to kind of push my comfort zone a little bit and start learning new things and trying new things and stuff like that. And so like one of the ones that I did two years ago was going shooting guns. I had never done that before. Um, and so I'm kind of continuing it now in this video because yesterday, or today, technically for me it's today, um, I did a few things that I'd 
never done before. My company does a summer event every year and this year we went to a place where you can do really physically challenging activities such as climbing up a 27 foot pole and jumping off of it onto a trapeze and zip lining and climbing something called a giant ladder which is like a it's a giant ladder a giant rope ladder that you you and your partner have to climb up you all both have harnesses but you can only grab your partner's rope you cannot grab your own rope, you cannot grab the rope of the ladder, you can only grab the rungs. And each rung, as you go up, gets progressively further and further away. So like when you're starting, it's about three and a half feet apart, and as you get up to the top, the top two rungs are six feet apart. And that was hard. It hurts your arms doing that. Although me and my partner had a slight advantage because we're both really tall. I'm 5'10", he's 6'4", so that helped. A lot. <laughs> anyway, um, I did get a little bit of video of it, so here you can watch it for your enjoyment to the soundtrack of Crawl, because Crawl! <laughs> I could share that with you. Um, I didn't get any video of the giant ladder, which I'm kind of sad about, but it was kind of a last minute decision to climb it, so I just didn't even think about the fact that it should have been videotaped. Anyway, I have one final announcement to make before we leave here today, and that is I'm moving to California! <laughs> I am going to be packing up all of my stuff and packing it into my truck and a U-Haul trailer and sh driving myself all the way to the other side of the country, the west coast. Um, I have an apartment in Ontario, I have roommates, I have a job, and I'm leaving a week from Monday. So yeah, that means I don't really know what's going to be happening video wise here. Like I, I'm probably not going to have time to make a video next weekend. I will try to make some kind of travel video. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm super, super excited that I'm moving to California. I've been wanting to move there since college, and I'm so happy I'm going. <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, you guys, remember to keep your head in the clouds. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.